This video is going to introduce a first-class lecture hall that could solve several problems we usually encounter during lectures. Let's look into the day of Sam. He's now finding a seat in the lecture hall, but every seat near the corridor has been occupied. To get to the seats inside, he must require the ones sitting there to pick up their belongings to allow him in, which is really inconvenient. To solve this problem, we introduce the following movable rows of seats. The kinetic system would allow sitting rows to move forward and backward to adjust the space between rows. When there is a student entering, the seats move automatically to broaden the pathway. After the student has passed through, the seats would move back into place automatically. Now Sam could finally sit down. But once he sits down, he finds it very uncomfortable. No matter how he adjusts his posture, he just doesn't feel right. To help him with this situation, we might use the following first class personalized chair. Inspired by the luxury massage chair, the seat could memorize the body figure of the student sitting on it. By using the RFID system to sense the ID card of the student, data like seat height, hardness, angle that the student personally prefer would be retrieved and the seat would deform automatically and accordingly to provide a comfortable setting. Sam can now finally sit very well. Next, he wants to take notes, but the table is just too small for him to place everything on it. Even if he can place everything on it, he doesn't have any space to work. Therefore, we introduce the following smart table, which is placed at the back of the seat in the front and composed of electro-restrictive materials. Students can pull it out whenever they want and change it into whatever shape they want it to be. Together with a touch screen on top, an RFID receiver, an automatic table light, an electronic paper for jotting notes, and a book stand will be equipped. Then, students don't have to bring so many belongings to the lectures anymore. As the lesson goes on, the air gets stuffier owing to the rising carbon dioxide concentration in the air. Sam thus becomes very sleepy, and he fails to concentrate even if he wants to. To wake him up and prevent him from falling asleep, we have the following designs. First, we install a sensor to detect the carbon dioxide concentration in the air, and we connect it to a central processor. When the CO2 concentration exceeds a certain level, two reactions will occur. First, mimicking human skin, the wall can actually breathe, and it could process a selective ventilation. That is like photosynthesis, it only allows carbon dioxide to escape. Second, the chair in the lecture hall could vibrate. After receiving the signal from the central processor, Vibration would occur to wake the students sitting on it up. Now Sam has worked up, but concentrating for two hours is really tiring that he would like to have someone massage for him. To offer him a helping hand, we have this personalized massage chair, which is so electrically empowered by detecting this deformation when someone sits on it. Together with an RFID sensor, the student can choose his or her own massage program that is installed in the student cart before. Sam's now ready to participate in the class activity. He wants to turn over to face his workmates for discussion. But the seat is just too rigid. He nearly hurt his back. To facilitate their discussion, we have the following design. The seat here could rotate 360 degrees, that every groupmate can face one another in a comfortable posture. With all the mentioned facilities, Sam can now enjoy lectures without any interruption, just like sitting in a first-class cabin.